So it's gonna be fun. You have a strange definition of fun, little shark man. All right, motherfuckers. Yes. Ori in the Blind Forest, Heart Trace. That sounds like fun. Let me know when the uh, Discord share is ready to go. Yep. Okay. So... There you go. That should be up and running. Fuck out of here, Adblock. Uh, we good to go? Yeah, I can see. Okay, I'm having weird caption. Let me just double check. That was what, buddy? Yeah, it's just it's just doing that thing where it's a little off centered. It's also like it it decided that it wanted to be on a different monitor. Yeah, I think that happened to you the other two times as well. It just showed up on the wrong screen for you. Yeah, it's it's given me the business. It refuses to move off of this one monitor. Have and you tried? Then it, it keeps bouncing the you know what, we'll just do that. Whatever. We will live with it. Alright. Anyway, here we are. Um oh yeah, we were diving. So so before you do this, just go ahead and step off to the left and do another save. Let's get you some extra health. <laughs> All right, now let's go up here and rock this out. All right. Yeah, we're going up. It's all right. I will die. You will, but then you'll have the health back the next time. You kind of got to just go as high as you can on this, and then... Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I have to end up killing that, right? Um, maybe? Um, if you get stuck anywhere that you don't like, just bash him and get him the fuck out of the way. But you do have to stomp him in order to get to this ability cell right there. I didn't stomp him, so I think that doesn't... No, it doesn't. So, yeah, just die on the spikes. We'll try it again. It's fine. It's fine. There's a lot of really dumb tricks I don't like in this. <laughs> I can tell. I'm going to do any percent minus this stupid Bronkle, Bronkle walk with Ringo and his damage boosting. Good luck with that. I think it's just the tightness of it. Yeah, I, I think you're used to making really small jumps when you can make bigger jumps. Yeah. I think it, the thing that bothers me is just like, his vertical is like so trash tier. Fuck. Um, like his vertical is so trash, but like you can cover the entire screen lengthwise with one jump. Yeah, that's a good point. Wow, that's yes. so rude. So as soon as you get that stomp off, just try to dash off to the right and get the hell out of the way. Just yeah, so. it's super weird. This is the only part where you've got to stomp on something in order to um, break something open, so you don't have to worry about doing this shit again. It's literally how I feel. That is like the most accurate visual representation of, of me ever. <laughs> oh look, this will hurt me. Dash right into it. Like there's nothing I can do. Like I have zero recovery time. I mean, I think dash or bash are your best options of trying to get out of the way if you can, but this would be a little bit easier if we had more health. That's not going to work. No, Although that ain't going to work. Just, he did just float back to where he started from, so we can try again here. Yep.
we're getting there. There. So can Sheesh. you save? Can you save sitting right here? I'm not sure. I'm gonna tuck myself over into this corner. I can. Okay. Go to the uh, go to the menu real quick on that save spot, or go back to it. Sorry. I'm gonna let him wipe me there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, with. Uh, circle or B, you should be able to open the, the menu to level up, and we're going to give you a couple abilities just right off the bat. Just So just tap it. Yeah. There we go. So the next two blue abilities, the first one's going to make saving give you two health, and the second one's going to give you an ability called Charge Dash. Okay. Um, so Charge Dash is something that uses energy and it's uh, there's a couple of spots we're going to need to teach you how to use it pretty specifically um, but the other special thing about it is um, it homes in on things like that bird or whatever it is that's there so instead of always dashing pure left or pure right you're going to end up being able to dash straight up or down if the thing you're homing in on is right over or right under you oop didn't see that there so there's a little bit of tricky uh, bashing we've got to do on this next part here. So before you go all the way there, you'll notice if you, if you just go to that first lamp, you'll see a spider there. That spider shoots three uh, shots at you every so often. And you can bash off the spider as well. Okay. In fact, you're probably going to have to. Um, but there is a, uh, there's an ability cell over the top of your head there that you're going to need to pick up. I think. Or maybe we got enough levels to where you don't have to. No, we'll, we'll, we'll try. You don't have... You can just run by this guy. You don't have to deal with him ever again. I was short. Yeah, you can bash both off of its shots and off of the spider itself. So okay. this section kind of expects you to be somewhat creative with bash. <laughs> Not that creative. You can also bash off of the owl if it gets too close to you. Nope. Yeah, th there's no need to stomp off of it. Oh, bash. Yeah, sorry. That's bash. Yo, enjoy your dinner, Dad. Oh, wow. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Them spikies. Just a little bit, yeah. Oh. don't have to grab that experience there actually so you, okay. you should you should have enough to where you can leave it be for now i also haven't figured out the uh, exact slope i need to hit that at oh boy yeah that that last lamp if you go straight right there's um that's probably a cleaner way to get through Wow, dick also, bird. Hey, so crush, right? Fuck. Oof. All good, buddy. You're getting there. Yep, platformers really aren't my thing, but here we are. It is a more fun one, I'll say. You could do a lot worse than this one. I just hate this fucking bird. How do I kill this bird faster? Um, I mean, Stomp does more damage. Uh, bash will just let you run right by him. You just gotta bash him before he does that. Yeah, like that. So just, and then run like hell away from him, and he's gone. Fuck you, game. There, that's better. All right, so low key, my movement, although still somewhat sketchy, sometimes really do be fabulous. Sometimes it, it works just right. Straight up. Yeah, this this part gets a little tricky. You gotta 
try to get to that lamp that's over the top of those spikes. Uh, there we go. Um, now we're oh, I knew it was oh. coming. There's just nothing I could do about it. Once you get up to that area, you head off to the left and you're done with this section. Good, fuck this section. This section made my fucking testicles hurt. You should really get that checked out, brother. Oh, that save! Very nice. Oh, I'm eating all that. I just didn't want to risk you actually uh, getting killed by that bird after pulling off the stomp last time, so <laughs> that's not a place we would normally force you to save. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Alert. And now off to the left. Now I would Woo! tell you to save here, except we don't have any energy for it, so... Unless that debug part works. Um, actually, try it. I think it's L. Yeah, go ahead and just save. We'll hope that sticks. So, basically what I just need you to do here is bash off of these and then off of all of these birds and stomp on those rocks uh, that are on the left there. Perfect. If you try to go any direction but that, uh, the big owl will see you and pretty much kill you. Woo, woo. Big owl, so, baby. Yeah, Kuro's a dick. Um, so this is a uh, feather. You now have another ability with, I believe it's R2, to where you can basically float. Oh, nice. Sick. So next thing we want to do is just bash off of that lamp. There's a, a save spot right back there, and we're going to use that to heal up the full. There we go. There we go. I have feather now. Look at me. I'm adorable. You do. I mean, play around and test it out for a little bit real quick. Get used to it. Um, you can dash and then feather at times. You can bash off of things holding it, and it'll mess with things. You can also see what happens if you bash straight down while you're holding feather. A thing. Well, if you were, if that was a movable object, it would have flown way the hell up. Um, that'll be important. Okay, so next thing I want you to practice with just a little bit here is, uh, that's actually not the way we're going to go. Um, that is the way you go casually, that is not where we're going to go. Um, so the next thing I need to teach you how to do is uh, charge dash. So. Um, go ahead and just jump down that way because there will be enemies and then it's L2 that you hold to charge up and then when you get close to something uh, hit the de you'll see it'll turn blue if you're near something and then hit dash I just We'll just do this a couple of times. I need you to get used to using this because you just leveled it up a moment ago and you've never done it before. There is a homing effect to this. So if, for example, you bash one of these frogs in the air and then do a charge dash while it's over you, you're, you'll fly up towards it. So try that with this uh, next frog here. So bash him to where the frog goes straight up. I think you get the idea, though. Yeah, that's a little difficult. It's going to get more fun because once we get used to charge jumping, I'm going to teach you how to rocket jump. Okay, so I got to bash this bad dude up. Mm -hmm. You can hold the charge, uh, you can hold L2 to charge while you're doing it, but the idea here is that you want to bash him straight up. And then after he's there, um, after he's over your head, dash. This shit sucks, dude. Like that? Yeah, that's the basic idea. So the reason I'm trying to get you to get used to that is because um, if you jump the frame after you do a charge uh, dash like that, 
um, it's going to forget to cancel your momentum. <laughs> Basically, it's going to forget gravity exists for a minute. Um, so bash him straight up, charge dash him while he's over your head, and try to jump at the, like the very next frame after you dash. Jesus, this is awful. It, basically, you're just trying to hit uh, A right after you hit R1. It's got to be a thing. It won't work with the shot, unfortunately. <sighs> it's okay. You'll get here. This is a lot this more work than I bargained for. Okay, so that was great. That was um, cool. It was closer. I fucking hate these frogs. Whoever designed Frankel can eat my shit and die. There we go. So if you do that right and you do it straight over your head, you'll actually fly way the hell over where you dropped off. I think the other annoying thing is these dudes never fucking miss with their shots. Yeah, it's unfortunate that there's some right here. Well, that worked out. I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen. Kind of? I mean, I, I can show it to you if you want, but I don't want to hold up your learning here. Jesus. Here, I'll, I'll get you a quick clip while we're uh, oh, looking thanks, at Thanks, Imp. Actually, do you have that clip that I sent you? It should be in your uh, DMs from, uh, I think, yesterday. Yeah, one sec. Yeah, that that one has a rocket jump in it, so you can see what it's supposed to look like with the uh, with the input viewer on the screen. Ah, all right. And if the timing is a little bit off with it, try hitting dash and jump at the same time and see if that gives you anything. hard because I can't quite tell from my side whether or not you're hitting jump too soon or too late. But the idea is instead of actually hitting the frog with the charge dash, you're supposed to fly way the hell up in the air. Shit makes my butthole kind of itchy. You good, buddy? That was a little better. 
If you do end up flying up in the air, just hold the jump button. I'm pretty sure that's necessary. There we there go. There we go. Oh, hell yes. So you can also float off to the right and catch the wall if you don't go high enough. Um, but that's that's the whole idea right there. We just need to fly you up to where you either f get to where those birds were from before, or you can catch the top of the far right wall. And then we can do the whole Kuro part again. Yeah. Easy. Let's fucking go. I don't think I'm catching the... Yeah, if you're not catching enough height with it, then um, you just need to hold R2 to float when you get to the top and float all the way over to the right. You can wall jump your way up from there. I'm supposed to go to the right? Yeah. Well, if you can't make it all the way up, go to the right. Yeah. We can use that experience for a level up later. Go ahead and save so you get your energy back. Um, charge dashes do burn one energy each, yep. so... Alright, so now I need to go back up. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just try another rocket jump again. Pull to the right. And pull yeah, to the sounds right good, Zelliard. We're, uh... We're playing some... some free. Wow, dude, they are merciless. Yeah, you really gotta get in and get out with this section. That's a solid game. The speed run's just a little rough. It once you get used to it, it doesn't it's not as bad, but it, it does take a little bit of time to get used to what you're trying to do. This isn't even the part that I was actually scared about teaching you today. We're getting there. If it's about movement or path, it should be pretty okay. Alright, so how long do I need to hold down L2? Um I think you can let it go once you um once you fire off the dash. You shouldn't have to hold it the end. Yeah, I mean we're definitely trying. This is uh slow going. I'm not a really good platformer, unless it's like tied to an ARPG. Yeah, we're just a little bit off with that rocket jump. The reason I'm trying to make sure that we learn it now is there's if we get past Sorrow Bash, there's going to be a spot where we're going to have to use this uh, right after. <sighs> it's like the same frame, right? Um, I think it's either the same frame or the very next frame for jumping. Dash, then jump. Yeah. But you, you saw the couple of times that we did get it. Yeah. What am I running this at? Oh, oh, 120 FPS. So I have less than a tenth of a one, less than a tenth of a second. Got it. There, there's got to be a V sync to where you can set this down to 60 FPS. That sounds too fast. That was interesting. Um, actually, yeah, we should probably check your options. If the um, if the frame rate's too high, we may be making this too hard on you. Um, v sync off. That drops it. Sixty. Yeah, let's let's try this now. I didn't even sixty think or about eighty, that. one of the two. I was gonna say sixty sounds a lot more normal. Yeah, I've had to break this up, unfortunately, just because I also just can't sit. In, I cannot sit in platformers of the same game for twelve hours generally. Oh, gee, wouldn't you know it? That makes life a lot easier. I did. 
you you have feather here as well. It helps. Wow, dick ass. So so you, basically the goal here is you're trying to get um, you're trying to get to that same point where you have to stomp and break up the rock, okay. and then you'll drop the save over there. Drop the save before you uh, shoot the thing that gives you more energy. Because you're going to need all the energy you can get for this section. We forgot. Uh, oh, wow. That, I can do it without it, apparently. I, I guess because it was right over your head? Yeah, that did work. Um, I mean, we can just die or we can save it again. Whatever works. Interesting. I still can't believe I didn't think about the frame rate being a problem. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so you're going backwards now. Mm -hmm. We gotta go up these lamps and those four owls just like we did before. And now just run off to the left a little bit and drop a save. Grab those two energy and rekindle your save. Okay, now you've got a save up here with full energy. Now this is the shitty part of the entire run. Mm -hmm. um, so off to your right, there is a spot where the game has expected you to be two entire dungeons and have a big updraft going through this whole area. So you can just float around a big windy thing of spikes. No, of course we don't. We're speedrunners. We're trying to skip two entire dungeons because that's like 45 minutes of game. Yeah. So, so the way we tr the way we do this is we try to get one of these owls to chase us over the start of the spikes, and then um, we use bashes and charge dash to um, basically send it up a path it's not supposed to go and uh, hit solid ground. So itself. just just get yourself killed here real quick. Easy. So, so the very first piece, so you'll be able to see the entire thing, um, you're going to want to just, and you, you kind of need not to hurt any of this stuff as you're going, because um, you need those things to have all of their life. Now just, just run into the spikes. That is creative, but if that thing is dead, we're not going to be able to do this. Uh, game, so you got to so. bash upwards. So these are actually not the spikes you're trying to get past. So try to get up into the right over the head of where that owl is, and you'll notice that there's a wall on the on the right side of this uh, chasm. I guess you could call it. Oh, thanks, Quaz. So wait, I'm going up this direction. You're, you're going right and up. We also got to get you used to using float a little bit more with R2. Yeah, so it's technically possible if you're really careful to stand right on the very tip of that ledge and drop a save. And yeah. I'm gonna need you to do that. But if you go even just a fraction too far with that, it's, you're going to hit the spikes and die. Uh, I almost had it. Yo, thanks for the raid, Claws. How was uh, more Rune Factory 4? Hell yeah, brother. You do have Air Dash as well now. Okay, we're getting there. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna want to take the death on this one. Shit bag. This is fun. This is the toughest trick in the run. You get past this, you're past the whole thing. 
Yeah, except, you know, the whole Ringo and damage boosting. We'll get there. I mean, you've at least seen it, so you have some idea of what's gonna happen. But yeah, that path that's surrounded by spikes on both sides, that's what we gotta get you through. It's not the hardest trick in every game of the world, but it is a ton to learn kind of all at once. So we'll get there. What uh what what all is involved with the flat percent trophy clause? Those dudes are told fucking turds. They are. They always have been. Ugh, come on. It's such a tight fit on that spot. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna be me, but I'm also skipping like what a good solid half of the game or so. Wow, I actually had it. You did have it, yeah, that's better. Fuck. One step at a time. Shipping one item, one of every item in the game. Oh, jeez, claws. Oh. Yo, have a great night, Emmy. Thanks for swinging by. It's good to see you again. Excited for the Formula One season to start. <sighs> that damn crawl from a thousand feet up. Oh, fuck. I say, bash this guy and go straight up. Yeah, no. Uh, never mind. Um. I think that owl hit the spikes <laughs> and it's corpse from flying past me. Yep. So the other thing is um, you can hold feather through parts of this and go a lot easier. Uh, I just want to know over. whoever put uh, stomp on down. I hope they're sterilized. Um, I don't know, but I might be able to actually find that out for you if you're that concerned. Yes, okay. Bastard. So, do you still have the picture that I sent you today? Uh, yeah, you know? it looks awful. It, it is. So, the idea here is we're going to do a very specific jump, and those two owls that are on top are going to crisscross each other. You'll bash straight up off of one, and then float into an area uh, in those spikes, bash it further into position, and then bash it with holding float where it goes straight up and you'll charge dash it. So I know that's a whole lot to say all at once. So we're gonna work on nah, this. Nah, that's all right. I, can, I, I understand this. So it's it's a bash into a positioning bash, hold or float in second, and then hold uh, charge, charge on the third. Yeah, so, so the, the only part where you need to actually do a charge dash is when you send the bird straight over your head in that vertical part of the spikes. Okay. Um, so the rest of it is just regular jumps. So for this first part, the idea is that you're going to make a big jump. You see where that second hanging lantern is yeah. away from you? You want to get that far to the right and about where that divot is in those rocks um, straight under you you want to hit just a regular dash to go back to the wall and then try to climb up with jumps as fast as you can if you do that and we do this right that was too early on the um good job getting back to your spot <laughs> <laughs> so you want to get basically the bottom of that divot is where you want to dash over and okay. if you do that both of those birds will freak out at you So, yeah, you're gonna have to pretty much hold, once you do that straight up um, bash here on the first one, mm -hmm. 
you're gonna pretty much hold float the entire time that you're doing this. Okay. So if we do this right, you're gonna bash off of one of these birds, and the other bird is gonna chase you up over this edge of the spikes. He tried. That was a little bit too low. Yeah, depending on, on your positioning, it's... Uh, and you kind of... Yeah. That was too late. That worked. Yeah, that's, that's uh, closer to right. So, as soon as that right owl comes after you and misses, hit bash and go straight up. Yeah, that's what you're trying to get to. So... I know Muffin's picture had a, uh, a spot for a bash on the second, or a second circle for a bash. You don't yeah. really need that. So, if we stop just for a second. Yeah. Okay. So, so the idea, if we just stand here and look at this real quick. Um, the... Uh, what, how do I want to describe this? Um, so... You basically need to float to where you're at about the position of that third green dot, maybe okay. a little bit higher. Yeah, and then drag it from there. So if you bash it, if you bash yourself straight to the left mm -hmm. and a little bit down, it'll go straight to the right and a little bit up. And what that'll do is that'll put the bird in roughly the spot of where that fourth green dot is. Yeah, and then just charge bash from there. So, yeah, but the, pro the the initial problem here, the next part of this puzzle we got to put together is when you bash that thing at that third green dot, you're going to go flying off to the left. Yeah. So what you have to do is immediately do a regular dash back to the right and jump, and that should put you in a position to where you can... Charge bash. Be yeah, because you... So, so the idea here at this point is... When, it, when it's at that last green dot, you first have to bash it to where you go down and it goes up, and then charge dash it. Okay. Does that make sense? So you, you gotta send him up those thing of spikes so that your charge dash has something vertical to home in on. Uh, okay, that's not the direction I was holding, but go on, game. This is fine. I can't believe it either, Imp. I wish we were getting uh, some more testing data earlier. Okay, I guess this just doesn't... It's just for show. <laughs> this is fun. It's Christ. And then just as soon as that that bird that's on the right is in range, you can bash off of it and go straight up. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, the problem there was that it, you were too low when that happened, and yeah, we, get, we gotta make sure we do this at a point to where it goes higher. If it helps, that clip I sent you should have um, a, a way of saying it. So many fucking failed jumps. This whole put this whole bit's the toughest trick of the whole run. Yeah, so the once you get it high enough, you've got to work it to where it goes off to the right, which means your bashes have to point you towards the left. But if he hits the spikes at any point, the trick's over and you have to just die and try again. Idiot. 
They try to float right back to their to the spot that they were at. If um... oh, but your daughter is having it. I don't. Yeah, you hear? Yeah. The first time I tried to do this and learn this, this one trick took me a few hours to figure out. Um, I was so excited when I did it that I actually told my viewers to put a clip of it on my tombstone for me. This is brutal. Cranky doodle dandy. Bubba, she cranking. All right, straight up. I hate how deceptively awful these spikes are. So if we, if we get these things high enough and we bash off the first owl from a high enough spot, you won't even have to bash that second owl right there. It'll just follow you over that edge of the spike. Does that make sense? Yeah, if I could. I just had it. You, you had the right idea. Almost Fuck you, Rocco. I did not get far down enough. Yeah, the, you're trying to get... The, the, you got the right idea here. If we get to the right spot and then rush back to the wall, then you get both of their attention and the one underneath... Jesus, Ori. Fucking climb! The one underneath will... Um, no, fucked. Go for broke. Um, try to do your first part in one big jump instead of two. Maybe it'll help if you have your double jump coming back. I'm just gonna get continually fucked. I just... Well, you, you had the right idea with making that right owl go high that time. Young lady. Yes, she does. She has the brain the size of a walnut. Probably smaller than a walnut. She's got a little oh, brain. <laughs> cranky noodle. Cranky stinky poop noodle. That's you. You cranky stinky noodle. Very cute. And kisses, though. Even. I got you. Good. What's that? All right. There, it makes it all better. I believe that. I also believe that Frey is probably smarter than me at this point. There we go. Yes, now I die. So the second part of that is... Oh, cool. Uh, we can probably just start and reload when, instead of floating all the way down here. It helps. Yeah, that's that's part of the problem with this whole area is that that entire top and bottom of that is just lined in spikes. So let's let's practice just a little bit 
this what you're gonna have to do for the second part of this. So I gotta teach you the move. I gotta teach you the next piece of movement. So uh, just make a big jump to where that second that that owl we can see is right now. Um, and what I want you to do is bash off of it towards the left, and then immediately dash right and jump and try to bash it again. Yeah, that's the that's the basic idea. So you're gonna have to do that one or maybe two times depending on how this goes. Young lady. Ah, I wasn't paying attention, I died. Oh, uh, this is fine. So we'll just practice that again. So primary thing with this idea is trying to keep up with it while also making shit go horizontal instead of sending you vertical. Yeah, sure. If I could just grab anything, that'd be terrific. It happens. We're Brutal. getting there. We're getting there, brother. If only, if only my friends could suggest games for me to learn that don't suck absolute ass in every way, shape, or form. Are you just now? We're just not gonna, not gonna bash anything. We're just not in the mood today, Ori. I, I feel like you're calling me out with this. Are you calling me out with this? I mean, of the two games that I've had people suggest me, they've all been pretty awful. Is this better or worse than um, Star Wars? Star Wars makes me want to be a fucking eunuch. And this one? The stapler and the fucking hacksaw are out, buddy. Uh, no, it's not speedrunning. Never be speedrunning. That's the ticket. Yeah, I can do that. That's that's fucking easy. I ain't worried about that. So the the part where it gets hard is if you get the dash and the jump in the wrong order, you kind of can't get back to where you need to. So you gotta dash first, then jump. That one's easy. Ori's incredible. You take that back. You learn any percent, Chris. I'll fucking be here. Hey, I'll I'll teach anybody. I don't care. Stupid dickhead, tiny brained owls. So, so the, the the second piece to this trick is that we're wow. Trying to get the... I actually got him to go where I needed him to. <laughs> go figure. Kind of. Yeah, so, I would have blasted him into orbit. So you see that ledge that it actually bounced off of? How yeah. A spot with no spikes there. You kind of want to catch it for a bash on the left hand side of that because if you bash him where you send him right too late, you're going to send him into those spikes on the right hand side. Yeah. So whether it takes you one um, one set of bashes or two, we're still just basically trying to get something into that section. Now, once it shows up there, the third part of the trick is you do a bash and send yourself straight down while you're holding float the whole time and then you charge dash it right after. So the idea there is you're gonna send it straight up. You would think it'll send you straight to the spikes, but because you're holding float, it doesn't. I like and that I can just charge dash myself to death here. I mean, it's fun that we're just you know, launching that um, death counter up as high as we can. Fuck. So, so if we want to practice that part of the movement first, um, the the idea is just that you have to bash yourself to where you go straight down while holding float. And floats R2. So immediately after you do that, you'll have a brief window to where you can do a charge dash and send yourself straight up in the air. Doesn't have to be a rocket jump. A rocket jump actually sends you to your death in a different set of spikes. Now, 
this is probably going to be a little screwy for practicing this because there's four of them there. Uh, but you get the idea. Yeah, I got it figured out. I just need to get these fucking stupid dickhead birds over here. This is fine. See, the, the main deal here as to why they thought this was not a passable part of where you could go is because you don't have an ability that'll send you straight up right now, other than the homing part of Charge Dash. So, they figured, hey, if we give you something sheer vertical that has to kill you, it'll force you to only go down the proper progression. So, once you can get a bird high enough, the next piece is just using bashes where you go left and it goes right, and trying to get it deeper into that hole. You did that on purpose. You gotta send the bird to the right, not you. And that'll work if you get it high enough to where it's um, over the spikes. Fuck ass bird. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be something that's completable at this point. I mean, what else is there? Um, I mean, we can do stuff to where I can show you the rest of the game and you can get used to this Fuck. idea, but um, in order to in order to complete a run like it normally would be, we we have to do a sorrow bash. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. Whenever I want them to target me, they fucking the most useless goddamn things on the planet. More inaccurate than George Bush in 2000. sake is that the debug mode does have a uh, like a super slowdown option it's not that i just can't get him in the fucking position yeah we gotta if you do this first jump right and then scale the wall fast enough the the first 
bird that you're bashing off of. Um, I, I just can't. I get, I get fucking stuck here. Come on. Like it just won't let me fucking climb. I think that's why I was worried about you still having your um, double jump at that point. This is me trying to fucking wall climb. <laughs> well, we got something here. And yeah, it's it's hard because it's a lot going on at once there. The thing is, I'm way too fucking worried about Stomp being on down because it's been a fucking nightmare the entire game so far. I'm not 100% sure how to map. I, I know you can do stuff where you map different keys to different places, but I'm not sure how to map down to a different button. Yeah, you really can't. I mean, there are people that play with keyboard if you think that's helpful. Or sounds useful. fucking we could, awful. We could try, that we sounds try regrettable in every mouse. sense of the fucking word. And I've done wrong. some dumb shit in my fucking life. <laughs> Haven't we all? Uh, I've, I've only played with controller myself, but, you know. Whatever makes sense. Also, chat believes in you. But yeah, how long do you want to take this through I don't know. I'm, I'm rewatching the clip. I'm just taking a minute to watch the uh, live picture and the tail go back and forth, don't mind me. doing it basically as soon as I do that first straight up bash I'm holding feather with R2 pretty much the entire time this is just gonna be a fucking nightmare no it is that's not high enough Faster. The only 
other trick I can think of to wonder if it could help at all is um, trying to teach you how to double bash, but that's not something I've ever got comfortable with. So the idea behind double bashing is that if you start a bash the frame right after you finish a bash, it'll let you bash yourself again to where you fly in this, you can fly in one direction and then what, that's the wrong way to say it. Um, basically, you can choose to fly in another direction after you've already picked the target's direction. But. As well mark this one down in games I've never fucking completed. You had the right idea there. I think it was just a little too deep to the right when when we clipped when we picked it up. Climb you fuck. I mean, as soon as, that right, me. as soon as that right one has finished uh, its jump like that, you can go ahead and just do the bash straight up off of it. You don't you don't Fuck. have to keep going up the wall after it's finished its um, first charge at you. Swear to fucking Christ. Are you going... Actually, yeah, you probably are using the D-pad. Or, sorry, the analog stick. I swear to God, if I stomp one more fucking time, I'm gonna fucking teleport this goddamn controller. Well, if it happens one more time like that, we can always just take a break, bud. Yeah, well, either this run's getting done or it's not, so. I mean, this is the hardest part of figuring out the whole thing. That was, that was the right thing for the first one. That was good. So yeah, just that idea right there should be enough to get the, um, the bird from the left to go high enough and let you into where you need. Fuck you. Did you actually just break it? Oh, jeez. Now I feel bad. All right, I have my back. What kind of controller was it actually? Oh, it's all the duct tape, bubble gun. I was gonna say that wasn't one of your PS5 controllers or anything, was it? Got it. So I guess I owe you a new controller. That's fine.
This is why I don't do platformers. Well, it's 8 o'clock at this point. How long do you want to keep going on this today? Eh. Like I said, it either it, it has to get done or it's never going to be finished. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, we're about, what, five hours into the 12-hour challenge? Yep. Somehow this is even worse. Is the analog stick just clipping down each time you try to come back to the right? I'm doing D-pad. How about that? A, I mean, D-pad can work and just switch over for your bashes. better still sucks we'll get there that first jump just didn't get quite deep enough to um yeah and i'm i'm going too slow please for love of god just kill me is it really that difficult thank you you're a very evasive person. for the day whenever you want man this is the uh this is the toughest trick of the whole run this one. Take your time, buddy. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just YouTube Studio being a 
fucking people can't. Yeah, I can't see your uh, avatar right now, so I don't quite know what it's up to. Fucking taking a goddamn sneeze. Please stop fucking stomping. What are you doing? This makes me want to fuck. Oh my God, I fucking hate this shit. Not high enough. Fucking, fucking please, please make it stop. I think if I ever finish a run of this, I'm never doing a fucking platformer as long as I breathe. Which hopefully isn't very long. I mean, it better be. Fucking, you're not my boss. You're not my real dad either. You still tell me to be safe. I literally just cannot climb fast enough. I literally can. For someone that can hit precision tricks but at 120 frames, I just fucking cannot climb a goddamn wall fast enough. Yeah, I'm a little worried that uh, having you learn the game at 120 frames actually might have messed up some of um, uh, some of the learning so far. Because we saw how much easier it was to pick up the rocket jump after we turned the frame rate down. Yeah, unfortunately, I just... <laughs> Cannot fucking climb anyway. We probably could have gotten more uh, double oh, jump, okay. climb the wall practice, but yeah, you're right. It's literally just hold up and hit A. It's not really much to practice there. It's just homie. I mean, there's, there's a rhythm to it, but you're right. Fuck rhythm as I dive bomb into the goddamn spikes. Yeah, it's just like, that's honestly the one thing that pisses me the fuck off about this game. Is the, the fucking wall jump is insanely bad. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe this. Like, it just does not make sense to me physically. Like, if I can double jump and I can clear this entire gap, realistically, I should have the momentum to, like, jump significantly higher than I do. And I think that's just fucking frustrating. Dumb as it sounds about video game physics with the pile of shits that I usually play. I mean, to be fair, Noct can't warp strike straight up either, but you make no. a point. Well, you can angle him and he at least gets to it. Could be. True. I mean, um, yeah, the only other tricks that are left in my, um, uh, in my bag right now are the slowdown from the debug mode a little more time or we just take a break and come back at it again next yeah, time yeah i mean i just don't know if i'm going to be able to like spend another two hours working on this to get it once and then not be able to do it in an actual run that kind of defeats the purpose of it if it helps the speed run uh, achievement is three hours or less so even though it is just an hour or less for a run but we'll see. I mean, we've got six hours to go if you want to keep going with this. I mean, it's just, is is this even going to be feasible? Question. I mean, this is the two-thirds part of the run, so there's only 10, 15 minutes left of uh, actual content once we get past this trick, so... I mean, the, the only other thing I can think if you want to keep burning some time with this is... Uh, we can cheat past this section and let you see the rest of the game. Um, I mean, that doesn't really help with the speed run at all. It doesn't, but if you've seen the rest of it later, maybe, I don't know. Jesus, dude. Yeah, they're just fucking... Like, running. it just... There's no fucking speed whatsoever. I mean, it, it took me a few hours just to figure out this one 10 second trick.
and the uh, the fact that Bash does just time you out after a few seconds and make you take whatever you've got is yeah. um, frustrating. I mean that was that was the right first section. Not high enough. Close. Please just climb normally, I beg of you. That little divot is a little bit hard to climb on if you don't get it happening in just the right spot. Fuck. Yeah, so, so from that spot, you've got to do another one where you're trying to send it mostly straight to the right. And if you need and you just want to die off of something, just float. Yeah. They'll catch up to you. I probably should have thought about that a half an hour ago. Sorry. Ah. Uh, I actually had a decent setup there. Comes in waves, but we'll uh, we'll get there, man. Yeah, that one didn't work just because you fell down the wall. Less frustrating than falling all the way down the, the hole. Of yeah, that one. Same idea. You've got to. You've got to send the bird into the gap. Yeah. Can't wait to get this set up and then just fucking not do the charge bash properly. It's gonna be my favorite part. It took a while for me too, man. Yeah, I'm with you. You almost have to pause after you get the first one right and go, okay, now let's do the next two things. And then pause again and go, okay, now let's do the next two things. Time, so sending him in caught the spikes down there. That sent him to the right place. Self to death. Happens to the best of us. Now, the main reason I got you to save on that little ledge there is um, otherwise you'd be having to start either from the side or from the rocket jump each time we were going to try that out. 
Huh? I'm not sure what happened there, to be honest. That, that looked a little weird. Nothing to grab. I feel you, buddy. Just, there's, there's nothing I can do to get any more fucking lift. Like, I cannot fucking, like, wall jump exclusively better. Yeah, and the problem with taking extra damage on this point to damage boost into getting some of these better positions with these birds is that you've only got four health. So you can get hit once and you're fine. You get hit a second time and you're dead. Like, there's just no way for me to, like, get up. Like, if there's a, if there's a way to bash that owl that's coming up, later then you could bash higher off of it but the problem it's... is you're taking damage to get there <laughs> like once that that one that you just bashed off of if you bashed off of it at the end of its charge then you, you go higher that's still not high enough but well, that one didn't finish its charge i mean it smashed into me <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. We gotta, the, the whole crux of that first jump is to get the one on the left to chase you while the one on the right does that and you make it miss and then bounce off the top of it. I don't know what the fuck that was just showing. It doesn't have any. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, yeah Snaps, this is fucking awful, dude. Yeah, because because you're having to bash that one so early, you're not you're not getting high enough off of it. Yep. Fucking kill me, please. Thank you. I mean, if I, if I could no. teach you how to double bash consistently, we could try a one bird method instead of using two birds, but I'd have to go back and actually learn how to do that myself. I don't, I honestly just don't trust this game to have super sharp inputs anyway. Yeah, so the, 
The problem with that last bash was because you aimed yourself a little up, you sent the owl into the spikes. Yeah, I know. Jesus Christ, Ori. Fuck. Like, Jesus. You want to give it five or ten more minutes and then we'll uh, switch on over to Fucking Kenya. drown myself in the bathtub with my toaster? You bet, dude. I love wet bread. I'm yes. not going to suggest that. I'm not doing any Capcom exclusive content right now. Gosh, this ain't even fucking right. or so and we can switch over to the next john i don't have the next john i haven't even asked anyone about golf tonight you want me to ping the troops yeah i can ever okay andor if you so good if you're so good at it then show me very dickhead Fucking cat talking shit. Mm -hmm. I can't oh, wait. Y'all act like it that de stressing. Grab any dinner yet, bud? No, I'll get to it. I was gonna say, if you want, we can just go ahead and call this for uh, now and take about five, ten minutes to circle up the wagons on golf. Let you grab something to eat. Yeah, that's Good job standing on the spikes for the iframes, though. That was faster. I have no idea why that dude didn't fucking grab me at all. There we go. 
Okay, so next time we'll hold on to the feather when we get there. And yeah, that bash was just way too early. Yep. Jesus fucking Christ. Whoever made that one spike higher than the rest of them, I hope you get gonorrhea. Tell us how you really feel. I hope that it hurts when they urinate for the rest of their life. Yeah, that's fine. The one time I actually want to do stomp and it just doesn't. <laughs> I fucking hate this stupid game. So I get the urge there. You, you, you want to point yourself up a little bit because you feel like you're too close to the spot. Yeah, no, I tried to go as left as possible, but he keeps hitting the fucking. Not you almost there. have to go just a couple of degrees down of. Um, no. That one, so so you had the right idea, but where he ended up for that last bash was too high. So he caught the top lift of the um, thing and it sent him down. Also, the uh, the concept of taking a little bit of damage so that if you can bash it when it's higher is actually pretty smart. I hadn't thought of that. It's the only choice I have because I can't climb the fucking walls because this game's trash. Sometimes I hate it too. Why can't you just play the video game like God intended, Sharky? <laughs> Speedrunners are cheaters. You know what? Fuck this bird. Fuck you. You're the goddamn problem. I needed that last. Thank you. Fuck these birds, dude. Birds ain't shit. Maybe Turbo would help. Turbo would not help. <laughs> uh... Man, fuck them kids, bro. Just a touch. I will warn you already, Larry. I don't have time for your snarky commentary. Like, just. Mm. Just fucking let me be. Like, I don't need extra fucking commentary or I'm just gonna get up and leave. Let it go. Oh no, FBI is coming. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. It's yeah, there. That... Like, I have like little pieces of this working properly. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I just need, like, if I can get the bash within that little nestle, mm -hmm. it's there. I can string together the rest of this. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Like, it's there. Like, that's, that's the exact height that I need. I can go from there and then charge bash. I have to... F Float into charge bash? Uh, yeah, so while float. holding float, you bash yourself down because you've got to send it up and then charge dash into it. Not a rocket jump, just a charge dash. But if you, if you bash straight down while you're holding float, it'll shoot up, but you won't really go all that far down at all, just like that, you see? Yeah. So if you do that and the bird is not too low on the spikes, then you'll actually hang there right over the spikes for just a small touch of time. I completely understand. Nah, it's all right. Too. I'm just kind of clearing.
This, um... Like I said, it's all fucking, it's all there. I just need to decompress it. Ah, that ain't gonna help. Fucking finger slipped right off the controller. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, when I, when I was first trying to figure this out, this took me about four hours of practice. Just from that one little ledge. Hmm. Man, that... I have a dumb idea. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. You trying to take a shot at it to get its attention? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that just puts a lot else going on there. I, I don't know how uh, tight uh, it's uh. is gonna be. I don't know how tight its health is going to be as well, because you're going to end up using most of its health up with all these bashes and dashes. Yeah, it just, like, the thing is, it adds another element in the timing, and it's just not great. You got enough shit to deal with. Yeah. Well, in midair, it, it fucks with your momentum in midair, which is a little bit of an annoyance. It kind of, like, clusters a bit. Like, there's, there's an actual, like, I'll just do it really quick, but, like, there's an actual charge animation, and then yeah. you can't immediately, like, cast one and then just dash right away. It kind of buffers you. Okay, that makes sense. I yeah, because it goes like before. this. There's a couple of extra frames that get tossed into it, and you can't make your way back over. Good point. I never thought of that before, so that's interesting. Yeah. Fucking... The big issue is I can't get its attention. It's a tough trick. No, alerts are on. They should be. Yeah, they're on. It's not enough. Not enough heater in the cabin. I'll uh, take some time between uh, this week and next week as well, just to see if yeah, it's not your better. fault. It's just. I mean, I'm I'm teaching you what I learned. Maybe there's an easier way to learn. I don't know. The uwu is always very soft, Dan. Oh, the Oof. only. What else can I think of? Um, we skipped by an extra health cell at one point a week or two ago. Yeah, that wouldn't really help with this health. point. It's literally, I, mean, I just can't tug things into position the way I need them. Yeah, that's fair. We got, uh, we got Seth and Lasara sitting in voice, uh, so far. I don't know if they're gathered up for golf or... It's all we got, it's all we got so far. <laughs> I mean, you got me, obviously. I'm not going to sit in that other room while I'm trying to work with you. Think we got Demon as well? Like, she kind of woke up while we were doing this. I haven't had a chance to check in with her yet. There we go. Fuck. Did it out of order. That... I don't know if that would have worked, though. I would have had to really ricochet around. I also yeah, that, didn't have float ready. That, that one came a little bit high, and you can hold float the entire time you're doing all of this. Um, it think, wouldn't It wouldn't let me bash while holding float. It should. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I went back and looked at my... Um, oh, if I can hold game. float the entire time, this shit's all over. Yeah. Now the one problem there, that was too high. So because that was high, when it came and hit that ledge, it then bounced straight down rather than going all the way into that gap. Yeah, getting into that gap sucks. It does. So the the basic idea from what I can tell from, from my stuff is if you can if you can get that last bash into the gap just to the left of where it starts and you get it low enough to where it doesn't hit the ledge 
then it should fly right into the spot you need it to go. Yeah. Ugh. You want sticky tendies? Uh, Larry what says he he's a smug um... thing. You mean mugging me about cheeky tendies? Come over there and bite those ankles. Do you do you two need an extra five minutes? It sucks. <laughs> uh, this is what you get for um, letting fans pick stuff you can do. A couple years ago, we put this as like a goal during a subathon, and then um, actually got to the point where we um, where we got it going. So. Some of those skips are just really intricate, and once you learn them, they get easier, but it it can be pretty hard to learn at times. So this is actually the hardest one out of all of them. We're skipping two entire dungeons, the second of which... Play Telltale uh, Games next? Why? That's, Why? That's her thing. Demon, remember, I want people to show up to this channel. Not ask me if I'm having an existential crisis. <laughs> Yo, it's Richard. Hey, buddy. Yo, shit. Rich, help me. I want to die. I've been trying to teach sorrow baths for the uh, last couple hours. Oh, that was on me. You're doing some real, uh, real ultra instinct there. I look, all I'm saying is I can do anything almost as fast as anybody else, especially when it comes to timing not taking damage. Shout outs to 15 for that. Yeah, my issue is I might be pulling too far left. That actually. That did look pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So I need to stop looking down and I just need to dash right the second that dude activates. A little early. Oink. Yeah, it's pretty bad, Rich. It's pretty bad. Look at you. You actually being calm now? Oh, you stop pooping not in your litter box. You're regressing. Yo had actually never played this game before, before we started the, uh, the 12 hour challenge. Uh, we're about, this is about the end of the third segment and we're close to five, six hours. I think we're about I just, six hours. Dude, I just now. cannot climb properly. Like it's just fucking brutal. That gap in that ledge does not make it easier on you either. That gap in that ledge. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, I needed to go one. down. Yeah, he was he was just a little too high. Oh, that was smooth. That was creative. The worst part is I could have recovered from that. That one not so much. Ah. Uh, huh? Okay. Uh, that was close. See, we're getting better already. Yeah. Ooh, it's a little too far right. Oh. That is not 
its feet. Richard was actually teaching me some stuff the last time we were all at one break together. Nope, not enough. I managed to uh, get it installed on every one of the demo uh, practice PCs over the course of all week. Mm. Too early. Yeah, if you can stand to, if you can do that first bash a little bit later, yeah, the higher it gets, the better. Mm. <sighs> That's better. Yeah, I just need to. He's he does not come over that first initial spike, so I gotta I gotta try and stop cheating it and just go with it. If you can get the maximum height out of the um, out of the first bash that you're doing, you can actually just float all the way into position and not have to do. Yeah, that's the bash, I right? I noticed that, and that's kind of where I'm going right here. Because you're nope. doing the second bash to get him in position for the last. Like that, I could work with that height. Yeah, if, if you can get that height, you can float deeper in and make it just spin and chase you further. Uh... I think I had. I think I had that, but I did not do my. What, what is it? I have to float, bash down, and then charge bash? Yeah, so if you can, you gotta get him deep enough in to where he'll fly freely straight up um, when you bash down. Because if he's gonna hit those spikes on the uh, inside there when you bash him straight up, it's not gonna help. You're not gonna have anything to charge dash off of. Yeah. I gotta try and figure out this button combo. Yeah, it's um, L2 for charge there dash. There it yeah. is. Yeah, there you go. And then once you, ch once you charge dash off of it, when it actually happens, you just have to, um, cause you'll, you'll let it go up and then do that. But instead of jumping off of it, you'll just bash one last time straight up and that'll give you the height to get away from all the spikes. Yo, yeah, you, <laughs> why don't we just rocket jump up the entire time? The, the, there are spikes on the very top of this ledge, too. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> just fucking zippy zoom zoom, buddy. You'll rocket jump right into those fuckers. <laughs> uh, that was a great rocket jump, though. That was impressive. Yeah, you, you saw, you could kind of see at the top of the screen where those spikes were. I'm still early. Yeah. Because we gotta, we gotta catch that first owl when it's at the peak of its charge. I think I, uh... Yeah, you gotta get him just a little bit deeper. Further right, yeah. yeah. A little bit further right. I think I, I, I don't know if I did the uh, the bash proper on that one. It looked better, at least from my side. So you feel better about this now? Uh, still not ready to give it up yet. But okay. I am gonna do out really quick and a break. So this pedal goes, or this cable goes. Yeah, if we got, um, if we got Seth and Lasara, if we've got me and Demon, if we've got Larry and you, we've got six of us whenever it's time to switch over. What is, what is this? A patch cable? Ray, your mouth can't fit over the quarter inch patch. That tiny now. <laughs> Is the ferret trying to eat your cable? Nah, she's just she has to open her mouth for everything. Like Seth said, I like boys with small mouths. They make my cock look big. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. I 
wish you would let me just hit you over the top of the head like that instead of being around you. Oh, so vicious. <laughs> so Chris is going to um, show up yep. after getting some pipe at Home Depot. Mutually Alex. assured destruction. Hey, what are you throwing my stuff on the floor for, you little shit bird? Yeah, I can bite some. Over. Yeah, she just throws him off the bed. Seven mutually assured destruction. What? Me and the me and the ferret, or or in the blind? Just, don't worry, our controller count in the twelve-hour challenge is already up. I'm sorry. I mean, Rich, Rich would be proud of me. I got I got appropriate length patch cables so I can play guitar into the stream through a couple. Of... Fuck it. We'll be in mono. Cleans up my cabling a lot a bit. Ah, uh, someone in Discord. You could always yell at Jeno. I know Jeno probably show up. Oh, so close. Ah, oh, wow, that dude faked me out. Now where to go on that one? Oh yeah, I I am the master of fucking poor decision making skills in this game. But I'm very fast at doing it. Ugh. Close. Ugh. I don't know what happened there. It was close, but I think that was actually the setup we needed. Yeah, I, I'd say it was pretty close. Even just a little bit deeper if you can get the uh, bird further in. Hmm. Boink! That is the wrong bird. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey, none of those controls worked whatsoever. That was uh, not yep. quite the proper verticality there. Nah, don't worry. I got that quick reset. <laughs> nope. We used to joke about that being the um, way that an MMO player gets home from the uh, grocery store. You just step out straight into traffic and then spawn back at your house. charge bash now uh so charge dash is uh holding l2 or at least for a brief moment in order to get it to highlight and then dash ah uh, that's right you, you don't have to charge there is a charge up animation you don't have to charge it up there it is and it does use an energy up each time so once you're out of energy you can't do it excuse you young lady Ferris aren't designed to have 9 volt batteries. They run on AAA only. How does that anatomy even work? Well, they're long and thin. You just kind of put them in like series. Oh. 
Okay, but how mad would you have been if I was able to drag that bird all the way through and then just do that again? Uh, I'd be mad at myself for teaching you the other shit for two hours if it actually worked. Yeah, well, sometimes you're the cock, sometimes you're the balls. Why not both? Porque no los dos, senor Sharky. Gracias. Mm. Ugh. Needed, like, another... Just a smidge get her. More. Oh, you, you got yourself unstuck from it. You ever seen a ferret get her head stuck in a tissue box? Shit's hilarious. Oh. I will put that on my bucket list. Just gotta let that first owl get higher before you bash it. Yep. If you bash it as soon as it's getting up to you, then yeah, you've got too low of a line. Ah, uh, grab the wrong one. Yeah, I could have worked with that. I was just being. That's fine. Yeah, this is much better. That's the right idea, but it wasn't. It wasn't far enough right. I almost wonder if we need to float in a little bit deeper to the right. Yeah, the issue is I have trouble. Fuck. Yeah, I I think that's the problem, because we're doing that bash. We're doing that first bash. Yeah. That's too early. It's not quite deep enough in. I'm trying to figure out how we can get some more right out of all this. Yeah, see, it doesn't want to. What if instead of doing that bash near the outside, is there any way that you can float off to the right and make it zoom after you again and bash Maybe. it while it's coming at you? Yeah, but I get pinged. Yeah, if you can do that without at least getting the first ping. We just gotta get more height out of it. I just need to, you know, be able to fucking actually wall jump. I didn't even, I didn't even get a fucking bash. Ah, that could have been a maybe. I have to, I have to try and gr grab it. Like I have to grab bash. So we'll yep, that's close. probably what I'm gonna call the hard cutoff time here. I feel like we've made some progress at least. Oh boy, actually. But oh, wait, there's more! Ah, uh, didn't have enough for it. Were you holding the float when you did that last pass? The feather? Uh, I didn't get the bash off. Yeah, I know that was basically it. I told you what would happen exactly happened. I would get it to where I needed it to be, and then I'd fuck the input. We're there, though. I've found the range, which is nice. Yeah, so if you're not holding float while you do that bash that goes down, you'll just die straight up. If you are holding it, you should at least have a short pause. And that'll give you enough time to quickly input a charge dash. Fuck! 
Hey, we are getting much closer now. I will take this shit ten ways to Sunday. I found I found a little bit of stupid tech that might work on it. Hey, whatever works ah. for you is good enough. I'm I'm not gonna tell anybody they have to do something exactly. Yeah, like no, it's just the it's just the timing off the wall. Yeah, we got like five minutes, Alec, and then we'll do some golf. It's left hand pinkies getting a little numb. It's all good. Not bad for basically seven hours of straight gaming so far. Young lady, how do you do? I love that you bite me like two or three times and then you're like, oh wait, never mind, I know. So, so scary. Yeah, she just puts things in her mouth. It's so stupid. <laughs> She's stuck in a tissue box. Yeah, it sounds good, Demon. Yeah, it's it's close. It's definitely close. I just need to be able to, to get up and then get the the leaf. Feather bash down, and then yeah. Arch dash. There it is. Oh, just short. So basically that second jump. Nah, he didn't get up enough. Um, but if I can style it off the corner of this wall like that. Mm. Yo, what's up, Timmer? Yeah, because the whole that was whole so game, damn close. That was close. The whole the whole deal at this point is just you get the height that you need from the um, from the charge dash, and then one final bash should be enough to where you can. Oh, uh, I don't think that, I was supposed that, to get both of them there. No, <laughs> that was uh not intended. Almost. I mistimed that. I basically, what I need to do is I need to buffer that second wall jump frame by like five, ten frames and just know that he's not going to... Hmm. That might work damage boost wise. Whoa, that's not going to get it though. Yeah, unfortunately that one missed, Chief. Hmm. Maybe? Probably not. It's very close. Hmm, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but. Fuck. Yeah, that one might not have been far enough right anyway. That also ain't gonna do it. Cause that's, that's the other part where we're uh, running into a little bit of trouble is not only just getting it to the gap, but we gotta get them. We gotta get the whole bird into the gap. Because you saw it, um, it hit the spikes there when you saw it. Yeah, started. you really gotta push it wide. I mean, the, the only answer I can think of off the top of my head for that is trying to float deeper into that gap before you um, do either of those bashes. I don't think it had like that actually looked decent enough. I just didn't have that apparently did not have feather. Yeah, just just hold feather the entire time that you're inputting your dash and moving your analog stick around. Fuck. Wrong order. I still didn't get him far enough over either. We're close uh, though. We're like we're, stupid close. The thing that I have to trust is that dude is always gonna miss if I time this right. Yeah, if you do it right, the first one should fly right by you. 
That was a little too far to the left, but you had yep. the right idea. Oh, welcome back, Aizen. Dude, I've had nights like that. Sometimes really technical and long battles are definitely not the most fun. This is a problem. Well, actually, maybe it's not. Ooh. You see how you actually got to float and got the charge dash off? Yeah. That was good. That was bad. It was just too spiky. Yeah, we just got to get deeper in there to where that charge dash goes straight up the pipe. Look, like I tell my wife, sorry, just straight ran out of deep. Just dumb ran out of dick. What you, what you mean, Mar? Love a way to noodle. Up there she is. Hello. What are you doing? Uh, we'll take a quick break and I'll hit the plug buttons. I'll give this like two more attempts and then we'll do some uh, golf, golf with the homies. And speaking of, if you do want to play golf with us or Seven Days to Die tonight, feel free to check out the Discord. Uh, it is a cool, cool place. You can set your own pings so I don't disturb you. Uh, if you don't know Sharky, Sharky's ran this game. Check him out. If you don't know our friend Richard, please say thank you to Richard uh, as he is an OG of this game and also does more things to make speedrunning accessible, viable, and irritable than almost anybody in this goddamn chat. Um, we will also shout out our sponsors. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, that's the merch store. We'll shout out our sponsors, nerdtees.ca, as well as Grinding Coffee Co. And if you want to spoil me and... <laughs> I'm so, I, never mind. And if you want to basically influence all the cooking votes forever, check out the throne wish list. Whew. Um, I need to add the, some of the new logos to the merch store. I've been saying that five times. I'll actually goddamn do it. All right. We will give this a few more shots and then, mm, I did not get the dumps I needed. But yeah, you know, I could probably push a little bit more, more right there. Like, like, wherever he's at, I can push that much further, right? Yeah, I did not, I did not have feather in time. Mm. That was a little, that was better, actually. I was a little early on that one, so I tried to damage boost my way out of it. Oh, jeez. That's... Uh. No, that's... I mean, maybe if you had managed to bash off the, the follow through, that would have been pretty funny. Uh. I feel like this is at least starting to click a bit more now. Mm. Taking out some revenge there. Nah, I was actually feeling out timing. That makes sense. There is like, I, you can't just mash it at the same time. There is like a frame differential. I think the important thing for me when I was learning it was just realizing I didn't have to charge it up the whole way. Hmm. Too low? Yeah, if you can float in a little bit more, or if you, if you get that much height, I was going to say float in and let him come to you for the next bash. Fuck, that's the wrong button. Yeah, you don't have to dash there, but this this is a lot closer to how I do it if you're um Ah, uh, unfortunate. So if you just if you float in further, he'll come straight across at you over those spikes if you got enough height. Fuck. Finger slipped. That's okay. That's probably too high. Yeah. 
All right, two more attempts. That's not gonna count. Oh. One more time. Yep, we'll the last time. one. Hmm. Nope, too low. All right, oh. well, we'll call that for Ori. Unfortunately, the best I can muster for tonight. Whew. That was Christ fun, a brother. lot. Christ a lot. Jesus, Jesus Christ on a motorbike. Crikey.